Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing day. Today, I just wanted to kind of give you a behind the scenes on this photography backdrop mural that I painted. My partner and I made this movable wall a couple months ago for the new studio, and I didn't film the behind the scenes of how we made it because it was just so frantic and there were so many moving parts. Um, but I will give you maybe like a little bit of a walkthrough so you can kind of see what it looks like. But mostly I just wanted to show you how you can paint your own phenomenal, striking, original, unique photography backdrop so your clients can pop and you can have this really unique setting to offer them. Let's dive in. Okay, before we get into painting, I just want to walk you through what we use to build this, how it looks, how it moves, and all of that fun stuff. So here is the materials that we use to build this beast. So the cool thing about this is I really wanted it to be double-sided so I could have two different features on the wall, um, but it is kind of a pain in the butt to maneuver in the studio just because I have so many like plants and stuff, so it usually just stays on the one side of the wall. But anyways, here's the other side just so you guys can kind of see a peek. There's lots of different ways to mount your wall. We opted for these heavy duty L brackets on the side, essentially um, attached to this two by three here, which is attached to the base two by fours and then attached to the wall. So it's almost kind of like there's a side and then the wall and those two are attached together. This enabled me to drop the wall lower to the ground so I don't have a gap at all. And of course, just finishing up with some heavy duty swiveling wheels so we can move this bad boy all around the studio wherever we need it. All right guys, um, I'm going to try to paint this wall into like a nice fancy kind of textured mural wall. Um, I got here thinking that I still had some of this color left, but I don't. So I'm gonna try to do it without having the base color. We'll see if it works. I got some metallic gold and this is all latex based. Um, focus, I got this stuff. I got some dark green, which I hope will match the gray well enough. Then I got some white stuff. So let's try this. And now we paint. I'm just using a technique using water, the paint, and a dry rag. Um, prefacing this with I've never done anything like this before. This is my first time and really just letting go and having fun with it was my key to success. So I highly recommend that you just kind of let go and have fun with it if you try this on your own. Uh, yeah, so I'm just painting little swaths spraying it with water and then blending it using both the brush and a dry rag. The dry rag really helped uh, the blending process and also kind of get any drips that were a little bit too big and kind of doing a little bit too much of their own thing. And yeah, that's all I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell, and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.